There's a world much like the planet Earth, but slightly different. People live in this world, as well as animals and plants. The main thing about this world that makes it different is the way it gets light. Its source of light is a giant pool of water filled with light-emitting jellyfish. The combined light the jellyfish emit is enough to keep the world lit, much the way our Earth is. On the bank of the giant jellyfish pool is a tall tenement building. The building has a couple of hundred apartments inside of it, but only one is occupied. The lone occupant is the super. The super's only job is to go down to the basement and operate a dim switch twice a day. The dim switch raises and lowers the light produced by the jellyfish. Every day, the super lowers the switch for 10 hours and raises it for 14. Everyone rests for 10 hours when the light is low. Before the current super, there was another one. But he was old and wanted to retire. So he hired someone to take his place. On the wall across from the dim switch was a giant fuse box. It took up the entire wall. When the super was being shown the dim switch for the first time, he asked the old super about the fuse box. The old super told him not to worry about it because he would never have to use it. There was even a small lock on it. So the old super moved out to an island in the middle of the jellyfish pool. And the new super went about his days cleaning up after himself and maintaining the dim switch. One day, for no reason at all, the jellyfish light completely shut off. Panicked, the super ran down into the basement trying to figure out what was wrong. He realized that a fuse must have blown. So he took a hammer and broke off the little lock that was on the door of the fuse box. Inside the fuse box were millions of incredibly tiny, unlabeled switches. The super began flipping switches back and forth in an attempt to find the jellyfish switch. When he did this, different things that produce light started turning off and on. The fuse box had a switch for everything in the world that gave off light. This included fireflies, lava, and so on. Realizing how long it was going to take to find the jellyfish switch, the super hooked up a generator that powered a giant sun in the sky. He had always seen the generator sitting down there, and now he finally realized what it was for. It had a warning that said, for temporary use only, the sun gets too hot. So the super fired up the sun and continued to flip switches back and forth. And the light emitting things that corresponded to the switches he flipped would turn off and on. The sun was very bright and hot. The jellyfish lighting had been perfect. Everyone had been scared when the jellyfish turned off. So they were happy to have the sun on, even though it was too intense. They went about their lives avoiding prolonged exposure to the sun and coming up with theories on why certain things that produce light suddenly turn off and on again. After a hundred years of flipping switches, the super finally found the jellyfish switch. He powered down the sun and waited for the more pleasant glow of the jellyfish light but it never came on. The jellyfish and everything else had been burned up and killed by the sun.